Now we all know what a slob you are. That's why you need this, an OXO sweep and swipe laptop cleaner. This cute little package is like what a mop is to a floor or a dust buster to your high school trophies. It's got a retractable soft brush on one end, which feels like it's made of a teddy bear and covered on the opposite end, a microfiber cloth with sharp ends for those tricky corners. Now imagine this, you're working hard, your boss is virtually scolding you, so you decide to take a break. In comes your favorite snack, a pack of Malba toast. And bang, bang, you've been there, I've been there. It happens to the best of us. Luckily, for the most part, it's still salvageable because it's your last pack. But those cute little crumbs is a no-go. That's where the sweep and swipe shines. Boom, zing, bungalow. When it's all clean, don't forget to pet it for being a good boy. And Alakazam, all the tiny crumbs be gone. But I'm also not a monster. I'm not gonna waste the rest of it. Don't forget about that weird habit we all do Admit it, you've done it too. Not a problem for this block of cheese though, and yes, it's also great for any of your other devices as well. Everything packs away when done, keeping it fresh for your next snack in about an hour or so. Plus, you will find yourself brushing this along your skin because it really is as soft as a baby fox. In that same pocket though, for anyone nervous to actually have to be around other human beings, this is my all-time greatest fidget toy find, a Defantix Spinner Cube. Because not only is it a really smooth spinner for the price you pay, it's literally a slice of a Rubik's Cube. It's an all plastic build with a slight dome like shape and curved in edges for proper ergonomics. Plus, the edges rotate like a proper cube would. And I know y'all understand the satisfaction of this alone. You can secretly fiddle with it during class thanks to its lightweight and dead silent design, or set it down on a table and flick it around to really get those ideas flowing. Don't worry as well, this is finally a Rubik's Cube you'll actually be able to solve. Now this is the only multi-tool you'll actually need on campus. I don't think there's an original brand, but the design of this is surprisingly useful, very affordable, albeit kind of questionable in function. This is a metal bodied cob light that outputs a max of 800 lumens from this tiny body that yes, can take a beating at just 45 grams in weight. But it's not even just the light that's impressive. It's the several ways you can mount this thing, starting with the D-ring style carabiner that lets you clip this onto any belt loop or bag comfortably with it still facing forward, a large magnet right behind it to stick onto any metallic surfaces and go hands free, and then this plastic round loop that clicks into different angles you can hang as a lantern. It's got two light intensities built in and this flashing option that I don't actually recommend using on the daily, but it is also rechargeable via USB-C. And all this in the size of about an AirPods Pro. This light is probably one of my favorite EDC finds, and to top it off, it's even got a tripod mount, because at this point, why the heck not? Now phones and electronics are great to keep ourselves distracted, but sometimes it's nice to interact with others too, like looking someone deep in the eyes during an intense game of Big Two. The air deck is what us old folks used to play when we didn't have Snapchat or TikTok to scroll through mindlessly. We'd bust out our multiplayer game of Go Fish, Crazy Eights, and a classic game of strip poker. These cards are great when traveling too, as they're made of a durable plastic that can handle a decent amount of flex and are even waterproof too for that one Friend who just sucks at holding a poker face. They're half the size of a regular deck of cards, perfect to bust out a game on a plain seat tray with someone else, or you know, a solo game of solitaire. Speaking of that Apple MagSafe wallet though, we finally have an alternative that also utilizes the magnetic mounting system. From off their new snap-on stand and wallet that they claim to be the first MagSafe compatible one available, which I wouldn't argue with as I haven't seen anything else on the market like it. Now it does look oddly similar, but they work completely different. First being the wallet portion that you have to flip down to reveal. It also holds up the three cards, and I personally prefer it completely hiding my cards away compared to having it slightly peek out on the Apple version. Plus the Moth version holds it in much better because of that in my scientific shake test while still being easily accessible by simply peeling it open. Now my main concern with third-party magnetic accessories, and should be yours too, is how well it stays put. And after some maraca practice and midnight hand exercises, it surprisingly does just as well as the real deal. So in the end, other than the Apple logo, you're getting double the features for half the cost. As it doesn't end there. When you origami flip the front open, your wallet also doubles as a stand. Great for taking zoom calls in portrait mode or watching hands-free videos in landscape. You can also do this floating mode, which I can only describe as transforming it into a tiny workstation that surprisingly stays in place really well in my scientific poke test. Plus a neat little bonus, if you want to stay juiced up while viewing your phone, you can sandwich a MagSafe wireless charger in between and the stand still firmly stays connected, which makes for a great charging stand that doesn't take up any table space when stored away. And if you really, really like mounting your phone in odd places on the wall, they've also made it compatible with their sticky magnetic wall mounts. In use though, even when packed, it still feels fairly slim
them for having a fully featured stand built into it. And while magnets can cause trust issues, I find as long as you don't purposely push it side to side, even when sliding into your pockets, it rarely fell off on its own. That is, as long as you learn how to properly pocket your phone in your slim fit jeans. This next one is probably one of my favorite new accessories I recently discovered, the clear look phone mount is a two-in-one combo, which is a steal for how affordable it is while being built like a premium one. Basically, it consists of a 360 degree rotating and swivel head in the middle with a clamp on both ends of it. The flat end designed to clamp onto a surface and the other for your phone. The surface clamp is made of metal with some rubber feet, which is surprisingly sturdy for its price. And the other end is a standard spring-loaded phone mount that does the trick. Rotate, twist, and position your phone at almost any angle you can imagine, then just slap it onto your table. The table spring holds the whole setup very securely in place, while the phone, although a little bouncy, it can handle a serious shakedown as well. Plus, you can even twist it into a portrait mode for a easy tabletop angle too. Of course, the mounting possibilities are endless. You can attach it onto your armrest to have your phone always by your side, or onto some shelves to Netflix and chill while doing the dishes. No judgment here. Better yet, it makes a perfect top-down shot for some super boring dishwashing vlog footage that no one wants to watch. Then when you're done, everything folds into a compact packed little chocolate bar that fits in the palm of your hands that's actually durable enough you can trust to just throw in your bag. Now it isn't over yet. I did say it was a two-in-one and if you invert the whole thing, it also doubles as a phone stand on top of a table and not just any regular stand either. This one can pretty much adjust to any angle as well. It's essentially a phone mount for, well, anywhere. Now for a little more serious cutting action, there's the Gerber GDC zip blade. Can be stored on your keys or even on your zipper pulls because it's actually got a pretty sharp blade for such a small package. The frame lock keeps everything in place and it just works for the odd job, which I can see mainly using it to open boxes. When folded away, nothing sharp sticks out and like the scissors, is safe to keep in any pocket without fear of it cutting into them. Plus, again, it also stays in place through my rigorous shake test. There's even a quick release strap built in so you don't have to untie it off whatever it's attached to to use it every single time. This is the perfect emergency blade that makes it easy to have with you at all times. Finally, you bet I didn't forget this, I've got the hero clip attached on the side handle. To Eli 5 it, it's a carabiner with an additional flip out hook attached. Because if you've ever gone to a public washroom stall without a coat hook, then you'll understand the stress of having to put your bag down on the pee drenched floors while you drop a number two. So a hero clip basically makes a hook anywhere you need your bag lifted off the ground, which then conveniently stores back as a carabiner when you've completed your duties. The Cocoon Grid It is literally a grid of elastic bands, which pretty much sums up the whole thing. I've got the original size here, but they do come in a variety of sizes depending on how much gear you're actually hoarding with you. Some even with additional pockets too, very neat. But organizing is simple. Take your product, find an elastic that fits, and then it's just a game of Tetris. The added rubber stitched into the elastics help keep everything tightly in place, plus the top handle means you can easily slide all your accessories in and out of your bag and visually see all the gear you have with you. And then accessing and storing your gear is as easy as stretching an elastic band. Ta-da! This final one is another backup accessory, the InCharge 6 cable. Six because it's got six different cables built into one. I know, I didn't believe it at first either. The cable in between is a durable thick flat material that's reinforced with nylon, and overall it's about the length of a finger and a half. It's also got this really nice metallic housing around the ends, and it feels like a premium cable, just really short. However, it is those six cable options that make it worth every penny, starting with the USB-C port that unclips to become a lightning connector, that also has a hidden micro USB inside of that, then the other side with a USB-A port that also converts into a USB-C option too. So it's the perfect cable for literally any task, as it's able to transfer data as well as charge too, whether that be with a regular battery pack, but it also supports quick charging through USB USB-C up to 15 watts. My favorite go-to solution though, if you have friends with an Android, this cable is the only battery you need, as you can also reverse charge your iPhone from their USB-C ports. Yeah, cha-ching, free battery. For being just a cable, it's surprisingly durable and well-built, even with all the moving parts. But that magnet closure seals the deal, because utilizing an N52 magnet, one of the highest grade available, you can keep this on your keychain and always have a backup cable available, and again, without sacrificing any pocket real estate.